Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will understand how to run importance performance map analysis in Smart PLS 4. The credit of de developing IPMA goes to Martila and James, 1977. What's the whole concept? Let's try to understand. When any construct is represented by some statements, we will calculate the performance as well as the importance of that particular construct. Uh, that importance and performance, we will take it on the two-dimensional map. On one axis, that is, uh, if we talk about x-axis, the importance will be considered and on y-axis, the performance will be considered. Now, when we draw this, we will get four quadrants. Performance will go from high to low and importance will go from high to low. Now, how to calculate the importance? So for importance, the beta values of the path coefficient will be considered and the performance of the constructor on dependent variable is mapped by IPMA. That also I will show in, uh, on Excel how the calculations are being done. IPMA you can get for latent variable as well as an indicator, vari uh, indicator variable also or also known as a measured variable. The importance is calculated by the beta of every independent variable on dependent variable. We will take the beta value. We will calculate the total effects of all the paths considering the direct and indirect path. Then this total effect is multiplied by 100 to get the importance of each variable. Now from where we will get this figure? Let's see. We have already discussed about how to work in the environment of Smart PLS4. I will request all my new viewers to kindly refer my previous videos so, so that you can understand the flow of this series. We have worked on HP80 data set. Now here, job satisfaction, which is captured by four variables, measured variable, GS1 to GS4, organizational commitment, OC1 to OC4, Environmental perception, EP1 to EP4, co-workers, AC1 to AC4 are affecting the staying intention that is from SI1 to SI4. Beta are the path coefficients this and we want uh, to calculate this one. So from here we will get the importance. So calculate PLSM algorithm, start the calculations and directly go in the path coefficients. So this is what is your beta values. Okay. Now how to calculate the performance of each construct? Let us see. Now it may happen that the researcher may have used different scales in the questionnaire or in the instrument. Now it is necessary that you rescale them or you bring all of them on the same level. So for this purpose, the formula which is used is x scaled is equal to x minus x minimum upon x maximum minus x minimum. For example, if any participant has given a score of 4, so here x becomes 4 and if it is a Likert scale 1 to 5, then the minimum is 1 and maximum will turn out to be 5. And on that basis, we will calculate the performance of each construct. Let us see how. Say for example, this is a raw data file of HB80, which we are working in Smart PLS. These are the respondents and their uh, responses uh, about the AC1 statement, AC2, AC3 and AC4. You can see here that EP1, EP2 and EP3, they, are, they have been captured on the different scale. Now it is necessary that we recalibrate and bring them on the same level. It is basically we are trying just understand that these are all different students and we want to um, compare their performance. So for this reason, what we will do, we will recalibrate each and every statement on 100%. Now how we can do this? We have uh, seen this formula x minus x minimum upon x maximum minus x minimum. Okay. What is the minimum here in this statement? 1. And what is the maximum? 5. So now what will happen is this figure minus minimum, this one, that is a Likert scale, 1. 
डिवाइडेड बाय मैक्सिमम फाइव माइनस मिनिमम इन टू हंड्रेड सो वट आई गेट इज जीरो बिकॉज वन माइनस वन अपॉन फाइव माइनस वन इन टू हंड्रेड आई गेट जीरो नाउ हियर टू माइनस वन अपॉन फाइव माइनस वन इन टू हंड्रेड आई गेट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट On that basis, we will calculate for AC one, AC two, AC three, AC four. Four statements of the co-workers. This four statements. Similarly, this procedure will be repeated for EP one to EP four, OC one to OC four, JS one to JS four, SI one to SI four. Now, if we are Uh, recalibrating for EP one, the minimum will become one and maximum will become ten because it has been captured on ten point uh, scale. After this is being done, you will calculate the average of AC one. Average of AC one, you will get it here. We will go at the fag end. So this is an average of AC one. Average of AC two, average of AC three, average of AC four. After you get this, what you will do? You will take the average of now one, two, three, four, and you will get this figure forty five point ninety four. Now this is the performance, and this is the importance which we have got. Now for the co-workers, we know that the importance is point one two seven, which we had seen in smart PLS also. let me uh try to show you again the importance uh, sorry yeah the importance that is a beta value is 0.127 okay and the performance is 45.94 now when i will plot this on the graph i will get this point the same thing is repeated for all the constructs which are there in your model and on that basis we will do the interpretation What is the interpretation? Let us see. It may happen that there are some points which are located in first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. Now, how these quadrants will be there? We will divide the performance. We will divide the performance at fifty percent. and the importance at point 5 actually the importance in the smart pls will be on x axis and the performance will be on y axis so the quadrant b which is this quadrant here you will if you get any construct in this quadrant it means that this construct is performing well and its importance is also high if you get any construct in in this quadrant a okay the importance uh, basically let me explain there only so to avoid the confusion the reason is in smart pls this is uh, importance you will get on x axis and performance you will get on y axis but there we will have to interpret okay what are the conditions for using ipma metric scale should be used all items should be on the same scale If your items are not on the same scale, IPMA converts all the items on same scale. In the previous version, we had to specify that what range we want to keep, but now the newer versions did uh, run automatically. Data coding is to be done very carefully. Make sure that if your intention is to run the IPMA, one should be given for the lowest priority, not important, also known as strongly disagree. and five should be given to highest most important and strongly agree it works on reflective as well as a formative construct now let us run the ipma calculate importance performance map analysis you have to specify your target variable which is a endogenous construct it will be an endogenous construct only you can select that you want all or you want the direct precedence of the selected direct target construct i specify all 
Now in previous versions, we had to specify that you want to recalibrate on 1 to 5 or 1 to 7. Now it's not necessary. Start the calculation. The calculations are completed. Now this figures, you can see the latent variable performance it is giving. Okay. And this is the importance. It is very well clear that the environmental perception and organizational commitment. These two constructs, their importance are high because their beta values are high. Moreover, you can see their performance also. 85 and organizational commitment 80. Okay. Now just click on open the report and click on quality criteria. and see the IPMA map here. Can you see all of you? This particular point is environmental perception where the beta value is 0.336 and the performance is also given 85. We had calculated manually for coworker. Let's see, it's the same figure. Yes, it's the same figure. See 0.127 and 45.607 okay just check it yeah it's the same figure so you can see that these two points are above 50 percent and almost below 0.5 now let me take this chart in word file and let's do the interpretation so i'll copy this chart export and i'll take it into the word file the first thing which i should do is i'll split the chart into four quadrants so this is a line at 50 percent let me make it the thick line And okay, let us copy this line and make another line which will be probably at uh, oh. now. We don't have any point at present, but just assume that if the hypothetically if there was any point and if i extend this line it clearly means that we are in the second quadrant where the importance is less but the performance is high that's the reason i wanted to explain it here okay the importance is less but the performance is high now, if you get any construct, say for example, in the first quadrant, which is, uh, let me take any, yeah. If I get any construct in the first quadrant where importance is also high, which is about 0.5, and the performance is also about 50%, so these are star constructs. Star constructs means this, this constructs have got the very good effect on the endogenous. They are, their importance is also high and their performance is also good. Now, if I talk about this uh, second quadrant constructs, their importance is low. But if we rework on this constructs, there are definite chances that we can shift this constructs in the first quadrant by reframing the questionnaire we can take them into the first construct by increasing their importance the importance can be increased see the importance can be increased by adding some more statements to the construct and by refining the con uh, refining the statements of the construct so if you add more statements to the construct and if you refine the statements, there are chances that your beta will increase. 
Now, if I talk about this quadrant, this quadrant is not at all desirable because the importance of the construct is less, the performance is less. We will have to do the major work on the statements of this construct because we are not able to get achieve the desirable results. If I talk about this one, here the importance is less but the performance is low. This is also not desirable. By reworking, you it is necessary that uh, you try to push, uh, you try to uh, take this construct into the first quadrant. Okay. You can also see the total effects from here. It's the same beta value. You can see the importance. We already talked about how it's calculated. You can also do the microscopic view of the indicators that which indicators or which statements are performing well. See this. They are all stars because most probably they are in second quadrants above 50% and below 0.5. So these are all good construct. These are all good statements, not construct. Constructs are here. These are all good statements. One, two. And you will have to do the major rework on these statements. So it clearly gives us the statements on which you have to do the rework. If you want to get it in Excel, you will get the total effects of the each statement also as well as the performance also. So all those uh, statements which are underperforming like AC1, AC3, AC4, you will have to rework on it. And all those which are getting the value less than 0.5, 1, 2, 3, you have to rework on this. I again repeat that the importance can be increased of any construct by adding more statements and by refining the uh, uh, statements. Now, what is the implication of this IPMA? It is, uh, you can say, the implication of this research is that environmental perception and organization co co commitment are well performing. But as already discussed, their importance was very less. The importance can be increased if we add more statements to this. Moreover, IPMA is also considered to be the future scope of the research. For example, if, you, if your study has been concluded and you found that some of the constructs were not are were underperforming or the performance or the importance was less the next researcher can start from that point to make that construct healthy so that was all about uh, running ipma in smart pls for more videos on smart pls you can see my playlist in which i already uploaded many videos related to it you can subscribe to my channel please don't forget to press the like button and you can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.